Um, thank you very much, Les Concorda. Um, Minister, you would recall that I raised with your number of occasions the need for a, a substantial increase in the level of grant aid to assist in the provision of additional childcare places. This is particularly important for the community childcare sector. And I, you mentioned to me here in July when we discussed this matter that you would be raising the matter, you would be discussing it with stakeholders, and you hope to get a substantial increase in your funding for 2019. You might give us an update, please. Hey. Uh, thank you, uh, Deputy. To address your question, supporting uh, the childcare sector uh, through the provision of capital funding where it is most needed continues to be. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, yes. Sorry. Um, the two the two questions exactly. Seven and twenty-one. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, uh, two and 16 together, indeed. Um, uh, it continues to be um, a utmost priority for me uh, as Minister for Children and Youth Affairs as part of the commitment. I have allocated significant grant funding in recent years for the creation of new childcare places in areas of need. This year, from a total budget of 6.86 million, my department's early years in school age capital programs allocated 4.62 million in capital funding for the creation of new childcare places. The funding was targeted specifically where evidence of demand for new places exists. The maximum grant amount available under the 2018 programs was 50,000 euros for early year services and 20,000 euros for school age services. I'm pleased to note that the awarding of these grants is expected to result in the creation of 2,757 new early years and school age places across 130 child care facilities nationwide. 1.16 million of this was specifically awarded to community services, resulting in the creation of 628 new childcare places and 34 services. So officials in my department are currently engaged in planning for capital spending in 2019, with the details of this to be made available to childcare providers later this year. But I can assure you that the needs of childcare services, both community and private, are of foremost concern in the development of the process. And in the past, Ireland benefited from much larger scale capital investment under the Equal Opportunities Child Care Program and the National Child Care Investment Program. And those programs provided individual grants of over 1 million euros in value of some community services. But I am delighted that's why to have ensured that the child care was identified as a strategic priority in the National Development Plan, as I've already mentioned to Deputy um, Rabbit there, um, uh, with an emphasis in later years of the plan, and that's when large scale capital funding, I think, will inform our early year strategy due to be published later this year. Thank the Minister for a response. And again, Minister, we all support the, the provision of additional childcare places. And it's great that there is an, a demand for additional childcare places and the refurbishment and upgrading of some facilities that have been in use for some time. Um, you mentioned the 1 million euro grants. There's one um, project that I spoke to you about privately. I had the privilege of approving the 1 million euro when I was in your when I was Minister for Children myself, and thankfully it, had been, it has been very, very successful. It's in a medium-sized town in my own constituency. It has capacity of almost 170. It's full to capacity. There are actually children attending on alternate days to try to reduce the waiting list. And in a small town, there's a waiting list of 40 children to access services in that good childcare facility. They've had to open a second facility in, in, in a different accommodation that's elsewhere in the town where there are nearly 40 children attending. Minister, that particular project, and I'm sure it's replicated throughout the country, where there have been very successful um, childcare facilities, and I'm instancing in this respect just this community one, they need a very substantial increase in accommodation. The level of grant aid that's available at the minute, the 50,000 or 20,000, that's not near adequate to ensure that they can provide the facilities to meet the demand in their town and rural catchment area. Minister, I would hope that after your consultation with the relevant stakeholders, that there would be a substantial increase in the level of grant aid available for such facilities. And again, Minister, I spoke to you privately and appreciate the fact that I had the opportunity to meet with you. But again, maybe 
if you had the opportunity to meet with these people who are the people on the ground providing those services and see the pressure that's on them to try to meet local demand. And we might have a further meeting in regard to that specific request. Thank you, Alaska and Corla. As you refer, and I do fully appreciate that you understand this so well, not just by, uh, you know, your, uh, the fact uh, as, as, a, as a deputy who's representing your people now, but as somebody who had this job too, so you understand that from the inside, and also the impact that um, a larger scale grants actually can make. So I, 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 accept, I accept those points, and I have indicated already in relation to my response uh, to, to other deputies that um, we, 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 the department will look at uh, the um, perhaps the need for uh, larger investment uh, in terms of capital grants um, and, 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 and the research that's required in order to do that in order to ensure that we have the appropriate scale that we do in each of, in each of the local areas. Uh, my, my understanding is that's probably something that we'll have to wait towards to a little bit more into the future uh, in terms of the commitments that I received in terms of the National Development Plan. But in the meantime, what we're trying to do is, is it to ensure that the capital funding that we do have um, um, it provides uh, the necessary increases in places in appropriate geographical spreads, uh, both within the community services as well as private services, to meet the need of the people. So I, I know that your 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 um, your uh, people are in con conversation with my officials, and that is important in terms of our planning uh, for the future again for response. Minister, the last day that we, we discussed this issue on, on oral questions, you used the phrase, um, it's your absolute priority to get enough monies for the capital provision to increase childcare infrastructure. I fully support the, those very that very strong commitment that you made and I would appeal to you to ensure that there is a strand within your capital budget, within the childcare provision grants, to enable community childcare providers where there's a huge demand for, for such accommodation, for such facilities, and where there are no private providers in that catchment area, that we enable those community providers to continue the excellent work that is being done in those facilities and to ensure that no child is denied the opportunity to access a childcare facility. Thank you, Alaskan Corda. We yes. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I, 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 as I fully support, you know, uh, the sentiments that you're uh, outlining. Um, uh, I've also, I suppose, indicated as well that, um, you know, whereas we've gotten a lot of investment, significant investment, um, and we, uh, you know, obviously, as you know so well, Deputy, make decisions in relation to what's got the current and what we need for the capital, how we design and what is the capital in relation to the demographic changes, what might be there in terms of the gap. All of that analysis is actually going on, both funded by research, but also through conversations with people um, within, the, within the local community and what's going on there. You've raised it a couple of times, as you've said. The, clearly, there is a very, it not you know, maybe not unlike in other areas as well, a very significant need there. I cannot commit uh, to a lot large-scale capital funding in terms of the near future. Just right now, we can hear what you're saying, but I certainly can say that I'd be, I, I'd be willing to meet with, with uh, your, your people in order to um, uh, understand more fully the needs. Thank you.